afternoon all. Well now I've got uh, a battery here connected to uh, one of my old 12 watt amorphous panels and there's a direct connection, there's no charge controller. And I was trying to get the voltage high, but it won't go particularly high even when the sun comes out. Um, it's just gone in temporarily. I can only get it to about 14 and a half volts. But that should be enough to put in the Morningstar SunGuard SG4 solar charge controller. Now I haven't used this thing for a long time, um, but it should still work. I need to uh, just trim those wires back and then I'm going to bodge connect it into this battery. And then in order to see whether it's working, I'm actually going to listen to it on this transistor radio. So I've kind of bodge connected the positive and negative to the battery terminals. Now one thing you've got to be very very careful of with the SunGuard SG4 is absolutely must not short the yellow and black wires now once the battery is connected. And this is something to do with the body diode in the MOSFET in the controller. It's not protected against that particular short circuit scenario so I've bent those to keep them well apart. So my solar panel connections I've just clipped onto the ends of the yellow and black wires. So there's the whole system. We've got the uh, solar panel. Sun still hasn't come back out but um, going into the yellow and black side of the SG4 and the red and black wires go into the battery. Now it's saying 13.25 but the question is is it modulating and I'll only know that by listening to the transistor radio. So now the sun has come out and you can hear quite clearly, I'll turn it down a bit, that the um, SG4 is modulating because it's putting out this um, 300 hertz tone on the AM band amplitude modulation. Um, I can show you that it is the SG4 because if I disconnect the solar panel uh, the voltage on the battery drops down, this stops modulating. If I reconnect uh, this connection, initially nothing happens and then when the voltage gets to a voltage which the controller considers to be um, high enough, it starts modulating. The voltage on the battery is maintained at, uh, well in this case, 13.9 and the um, charge controller can be heard modulating on the radio. Now the sun's gone behind a cloud just briefly but it's come back out. Now we didn't quite make it I think to the modulation voltage. The sun has now gone in. So because the battery voltage is lower than the modulation uh, set point I suppose you'd call it the charge controller is not modulating so I'll wait for the sun to come back out. Is it coming out now? No I don't think it is. And uh, we'll watch it kick into pulse width modulation. No, I missed it. Let's try again. Now the PWM5 can also be heard on the AM wave band. Um, this one has a modulation frequency of 122 Hz, so it's a lower frequency. And I've got to get this quite close to the solar wires to make this happen. If I move it away, quite, there's only about a foot there, the radiation drops away to the point where it can't be heard. Now compare that with the SG4, I'll just walk it over here. I'm kind of about a meter away and it puts out quite a lot of this um, audio interference and at this more audible frequency of 300 Hertz. Actually I don't need to wait for the Sun to go in. If I just disconnect this cable 
you can hear how this thing responds. Let's reconnect it now. Watch the voltage come up and then have a listen. You hear that sort of phasing sound where it kind of goes meow, meow. That's the pulse width modulation value varying between 0 and 100%. Um, so see if you can make out this phasing sound. I'll connect and disconnect the controller a few times. Ouch, just pinch myself with the crock clip. So although the frequency is constant, the pulse width is varying and if you've ever played with a, a synthesizer you'll know what a varying pulse width sounds like. It's a phaser. They used to call it a phaser with a pH. So that's pulse width modulation in sound. So now I've reconnected the solar uh, connections back directly to the battery. I've um, effectively taken the sun guard out of circuit. It's still connected, but it's not got solar connections. So it no longer regulates the voltage and that will just creep up and creep up and creep up.